Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today we have another Diamond Dynasty video, and in this video we got Nolan Ryan going up against Tom Seaver, probably the two best legend pitchers, because they are, going up against each other, and in this video we are also playing another YouTuber, we've played him before in Madden, and that is Crazy Chimpanzee. Uh, this is a great game as well, but uh, make sure you go check out his channel if you haven't already. He posted the game as well from his perspective, so you guys can go see that. And make sure you guys give him a like and subscribe if you haven't already, because he posts a lot of great uh, MLB videos, and he will start posting um, more of those as well if you're into that. And he posts really good Madden videos. He's a really good Madden player, so make sure you guys go subscribe to him if you guys are into that. Uh... That's pretty much all I got to say about him. He's a really good player. He's a really great guy, and he posts really good videos. So make sure you go check him out. In the game, however, he's really good at this as well. He struck me out like 17 times on some high fastballs, and that was just crazy. You guys will see right there is one example. We finally do get him to throw down in the zone on a nice slider. We get a base hit off of that. So we have a man on first. A man on first. Not a man. A man on first with one out and there we go we got another hit right there with yogi Berra. we have first and second now and then nolan ryan's gonna bunt over but he throws to second and we have bases loaded so watch this play he has a wild pitch we're going home but how slow can you be troy tulowitzki instead of taking a one to zero lead we surrender the out and now we have to go pitch but then this happens. Look at how stupid Ted Williams is in the field. First of all, he misplays the ball. Second of all, he just runs past it instead of tries to pick it up. And his Ted Williams is going to go in for an inside the park home run. My Ted Williams sucks. Uh, we were actually talking on Skype during this game. And it was just... We were surprised at how bad Ted Williams really was in the field he's just you cannot trust him he's just so bad he cannot make plays he just drops the ball he doesn't try he's just bad but on the on the on the batting side you know he can do whatever and get a home run so I didn't even think he had that much speed but you know things happen I guess we're down one to zero and we're gonna have to come back from this uh like I said, he got me 17 times looking silly, so that might be a little difficult. However, we get our first strike out there on Yogi Berra. Why not make it two on Tom Seaver and strike out the side with Rod Carew? So we have three strikeouts in a row, but, um, you know, like I said, how he was pretty good. He got one. Make that two. Can you make it three? Yep, Tom Seaver made it three strikeouts. So technically six strikeouts in a row. And uh, why don't we make it seven? But we can't. So we get a pop out from his creative player. But like I said, every time I strike out the side, he would strike out the side. Every time I'd strike out a guy, he'd strike out a guy. It was a really good pitching matchup. We are both really good pitchers. And uh, we don't give up a lot of runs. So this was a really close game. Uh, look at that, though. Look at how silly I look when I swing at that. <laughs> that was really bad. But uh, we head into the bottom of the fifth inning. He gets a little hit to second base. I'm not sure how many strikeouts I had in this game now that I'm thinking about that. But it was it was probably a lot. Uh, he gets a nice fly ball to right field with Kenny Lofton. But that's going to be Bryce Harper making the catch out there. Two outs now. He's got Jeff Bagwell. And how about we sit him down on the bench? So, top of the sixth inning now. We need to get something going. Why not start that off with a little bunt by my creative player? I know it's a little cheesy, but we had to do it. Then he starts throwing these high fastballs again, and I couldn't hit it. That's two strikeouts in a row. We get over to third with our creative player, but it doesn't matter because Bryce Harper strikes out as well. So, technically, he struck out the side, and uh, we move on into the bottom of the sixth inning. We get a ground out there from Yogi Berra. Tom Seaver actually gets a hit, but it's into foul territory and will be caught by Anthony Rizzo. So we already have two outs and make it three on another Rod Carew strikeout. Oh, look at how low that ball was, and he still hit it. That's actually only his second uh, hit of the game. The first one was on that Ted Williams uh, error that I'm going to call it, but Ted Williams still sucks. So he gets two hits. And he's leading by one. We have five hits or four hits. And we cannot get anything going. 
So we do fly out to the left field to start off the seventh inning, or should I say end the seventh inning, and we go back to pitching. We get another strikeout right there. Ted Williams is back up, and we sit him down. So two strikeouts in a row. Can we make it three? Here's Ernie Banks on a 2-2 count. Yes, we do with a nice change up in the dirt. So we've struck out six people at least. I mean, that's pretty good. Like, we've strike out two sides is what I meant. Six people. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. And uh, I think we had, like, I'm going to say close to 17 strikeouts as well. But uh, top of the eighth inning, we have my creative player back up. He needed to do something to get us back going. But he did not, and we head into the bottom of the eighth inning. I had to bring in a new pitcher, and uh, we do get the first out with Andrew Miller right there. Second strikeout of the game. Not a strikeout. I don't know why I said that, but we get him to pop out uh, to the catcher. So we already have two outs. We just need to get Jeff, Johnny Bagwell, Johnny Bagwell. That's what I said. Yeah. We need to get Johnny Bench out, but then we misplace a slider. If you go back and look at that, it was uh, supposed to be down and away. Went back up in the zone, and he teed off on it. So Nolan Arenado gets a base hit with one out. Then he brings in Aroldis Chapman. I know I do hit Aroldis Chapman, and I got some powerful righties on the bench. But then he strikes out the first guy and throws to first with this catcher on the next. We end up losing the game, but that's okay. It was against a really good opponent. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go check out Crazy Chimpanzee's uh, channel. It will be in the description. Thanks for watching.